2. Water is filled in the calorimeter up to one third of its volume and its mass is again determined. 3. The calorimeter is placed in wooden box and temperature of water is noted as T1 degree centigrade using thermometer. 4. Now, the solid material whose specific heat is to be measured taken in the form of small pieces is kept in a steam heater and then it is heated. 5. The solid pieces are heated to a temperature T2 degree centigrade in a steam heater. 6. Now, the solid pieces were quickly transferred into the calorimeter. 7. The contents in the calorimeter are stirred well and the resultant temperature of mixture T3 degree centigrade is noted. 8. Finally, the mass of calorimeter along with water and solid pieces is determined. Theory Mass of calorimeter with stirrer is equal to M1. Mass of calorimeter plus stirrer plus water is equal to M2. Mass of water is equal to M2 minus M1. Mass of calorimeter plus stirrer plus water plus solid is equal to M3. Mass of solid is equal to M3 minus M2. Initial temperature of calorimeter with water is equal to T1 degree centigrade. Temperature of solid is equal to T2 degree centigrade. Resultant temperature of mixture is equal to T3 degree centigrade. Specific heat capacity of material of calorimeter is equal to S1. Specific heat of water is equal to S2. Specific heat of solid is equal to S. Amount heat gained by calorimeter is equal to M1 S1 into T3 minus T1. Amount of heat gained by water is equal to M2 minus M1 into S2 into T3 minus T1. Amount of heat gained by solid is equal to M3 minus M2 into S into T2 minus T3. According to principle of method of mixtures, heat lost by hot body is equal to heat gained by calorimeter and water. M3 minus M2 into S into T2 minus T3 is equal to M1 S1 plus M2 minus M1 into T3 minus T1. M1 S1 plus M2 minus M1 into T3 minus T1 by M3 minus M2 into S into T2 minus T3.